Are we on? Yes. We're live. I think so. Hi, everybody. Uh, before Do we, we have GoPro today? No. No. No, we have no pro. Before <laughs> before we get too far into all of this, uh, please tell us if we can, you can hear us. Uh, I believe it's been you, an issue. I believe you can hear us, but I want to make sure. Can anybody hear? Yeah. Oh, I can see yeah. seven. You seven. Can you hear us? Yeah. Okay. Perfect. All right. Um, apparently, Denise says we can hear. Us. So, what? What did you miss us? Sorry about last week. Uh, we. I'll just be honest with you because we get, we're, we have a we have a, lo a lovely relationship. Uh, we forgot on Wednesday, uh, and then we were going to do it Friday, and then our internet went out, and it was out for fourteen hours. And I had withdrawals. I had uh, I was like, <laughs> you really were um, <clears throat> struggling with that. So we uh, we had a, a, a rest, and now we're back. So what um, are we doing today? We're gonna we're gonna make uh, you kick a little bit of more tapas, <laughs> and uh, we're gonna another tapas. I mean, I'm just gonna say that like, tapas it's a and part, tapas. We're having tapas on top of tapas. Uh, uh, it's a, a, a variety of tapas, but we're gonna do it in individual nights. So oh, we're doing potatoes bra bravas, which is bravas. Uh, it means fierce potatoes. That does. So, what do we got going on today? We have a full house. Uh, Lena oh, is in town. Amy, Denise, Lena, Andrea. I like that you signed off for everybody. I didn't think they would do it. Okay. So, so what are we doing? We're gonna um, we're gonna make sangria too. And I'll, I've already made some because I wanted to have it nice and mixed. But we're gonna do that, and uh, it's gonna be so good. Hey. In ancient times, water was often unsafe to drink. That's and people made... would add alcohol to kill off bacteria. So that's why they drank more beer and whiskey in the beginning of the United States. They than... started adding fruits and spices to this mixture, leading to an early form of sangria. The concoction <laughs> typically consisted IDD. of wine, chopped fruit, a sweetener like honey, and a small amount of brandy or other spirits. That's 100% true. Uh, it came about in, it says in the Middle Ages on that, but it's actually more like the 18th century. So, I missed you bowls. What does it, what's, I'm sorry, what, when are the Middle Ages? Like oh, the Middle Ages. Sorry. Like the, what's the happening 18th, here? The, that's like 1700s. 1700s? Like Middle Ages are like 900 to like 1600. Yeah. Then you have yeah. the Renaissance. Doug. And then you have the no, I know that. I'm saying that the 18th century is the 1700s. <laughs> Anyways. We're back. So, uh, this they're fairly easy to make. So, what you... Oh, yeah, sangre for blood. For blood. Uh, obviously, uh, originated in, in Spain. Um, the ones in the middle. Which one's in the middle? These ones? Oh, she can't see. I, I moved the camera. Hold on. Oh. made it really sick. Those are the bestest. French. No, not those. Those are the friendship. They're the bestest. Okay. <laughs> Got that out of Also, way. pink gooseberry. Um, Second bestest. What does it smell so good? Oh, the, the Lino had brought, uh, and Andrea brought lasagna, lasagna dip. dip. And they took the Which lid off. We decided the... lasagna dip, you could just add, um, you just add noodles to it and call it dinner. It is literally just what, the stuff dip. you make lasagna with. So. Oh, the middle oh. are the ones in the middle. Oh, Deefy, you confuse me. Okay, fine. I've had a you few glasses it. of wine. Okay, so uh, typically this is made with white potatoes, so that's why I have white potatoes. Why are they potatoes. so thick? Are they supposed to be that thick? Yes, one inch thick. They're one inch squares. One inch? Yeah. That's not one inch, that's a half inch. Whatever. I made it as it is. Leave me alone. So I've already I cut... I worry about your spatial awareness. A whole bunch. <laughs> You're going in a home. Oh, you can't no. remember. Spatial thing. So technically, I actually, <laughs> actually, <laughs> you all right? I sucked in too much of my own saliva. On that. <laughs> She's trying to be sassy, and I that's did, what happened. And it got me. Yeah. All right. Well, uh, we Where's missed Andrea. We totally missed you last week. So I mean, we sorted it. I did. I missed you. But we got went to our beautiful niece Sierra's wedding. To her new wonderful husband Jesse, and it was just a great wedding. And it poured, it poured on this outdoor wedding. And you know what? That's why 
I love these people. Yeah, they just didn't care. No? His niece is literally Yeah. Yes. They played, they played Jesse's girl after the ceremony. It was awesome. Which I thought was hilarious because I'm like, the song is actually, and from the perspective of Jesse's best friend. Um, and so I was like. I think Jesse's best friends all wish they had Jesse's girl. Probably. Well. Um. It was awesome, though. It was, yeah. uh, and I got to see my Kristen. I love her so dearly. So I'm washing these potatoes. I have some. One more are you thing to say. are you washing me wash potatoes? Yes, I can see you. Oh. Um, Kristen, my teaching partner, is getting her national board certification, and for teachers, that is no joke. It's intense. It's a two year process. And then you turn all your stuff in and it takes six months to get it back and know if you have to redo anything. And I'm so proud of her because it's hard. I, I didn't do it. Lena, thanks for liking my tweet, by the way. <laughs> I saw. <laughs> um. But Sierra's uh, wedding was beautiful and it did stop raining long enough to have the ceremony and speeches. Yeah. But they got a lot of, uh, Jesse was slightly drunk by that time, but it was still, it's fine. but they technically got married the week before, and this was, and like, the pictures are really cute, and it was sunny, yeah, it was cute. <laughs> and yeah. outside, so, uh, what else are we doing? You got oh. married the week before? No, the office. Oh, yeah, I was like, I don't think so, I would have been there, I'm pretty sure, <laughs> or that's a secret you've been keeping for a I think long time. Surprise! So let's make wine. Let's make uh, sangria so we can have some. I mean, yes, let's. Because this is going to, well, we're, we need to have something with drinking because this part is going to take 20 minutes to fry uh, on medium heat to fry and crisp everything up. And then we'll make the sauce and we'll make the aioli so everything mixes together. So you need one bottle of red wine. This is red, a, red, uh, red. a uh, Lodi Old Vine Zinfandel, Seven Deadly Zins. Where is this from? Lodi. Lodi. No, no. Position, <laughs> 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 you You know, rain is what? supposed to be good luck on your wedding day, so good, good luck. Um, I, I, Michael it David must have come yeah. from where? Michael David Vineyards. How do you know that? Because I'm brilliant. <laughs> Did you read the bottle? No, it no. says it on the label. No, I'm not. I can't see that. Can. You have glasses that can no, see the she, future. She can see in the future, but she can't see that. All right. I'm pretty sure we probably got it through Naked Ones. I don't know yeah. how else we would have had two bottles of it. There's no way to do this without being just Swirl like, it. That makes it go faster. It's called Seven, seven Deadly Zins. Oh, it came from Denise's sauce. So Michael Goddard painting. Yeah, that's how we know because we used to have it in a Michael Goddard painting. So um, I've got. Uh, we had it in a poster, but. I got, oh, look at this. This is, we, we were playing, this is a, a glass teardrop stir. And I was Ooh. like, look, it's a long boogie. And Amy's like, if you got a boogie that long, you are in trouble. You know, bigger issues. And I'm out. I think and I also said I'm out. Yeah, she did. One cup? One half cup of this and one that half cup. That looks like more than a half cup. It isn't. <laughs> That's kind of my job here. I just question everything Doug does. That's right. <laughs> well, it's okay. Keeps me honest. I golfed today. Did all right. Um, Tell him about that snotty guy. Oh my god! So look, that guy's I'm, I'm I'm not a stickler for the rules, especially when you play in the mediocre golf association like I do. Now we play by the rules, obviously, because it's tournament play, and if you're playing tournament play, you might as well play by the rules. But this guy had to be passive aggressive about it, and he's a guy like he's won a couple of tournaments. But the deal is, um, to, uh, this is Brandy, and I'm doing one quart of cup. That is OJ. Yes, I'm 100% sure. It was lemon juice and OJ. Yes, lemon, lemon juice, juice and, and OJ. OJ. So there's only a quarter cup of, of brandy in this. It seems so like, it makes it fortified. Wise. I guess, but it's yeah, that's why it lasts as long. So you can put it on a you can put it in a keg and uh, send it along across the Atlantic. I like that face says, go ahead and challenge me. Challenge me. Challenge me. Say something. I'm going to say something. I'm not going to say anything. So, no, gonna say. you can challenge it. I don't know about this orange. Seems a little, oh, there we go. So, uh, so the guy 
he he was like, so are white steaks, are they... Uh, I like this voice. List. I like this voice. <laughs> He's like, are the white steaks... Uh, they're, they're, you can drop two, or you have to go back, and, and that or a penalty, right? And and we're like, yeah. And he goes, oh, I know the rules. No, you said, yeah, those are the rules. Yeah, those are the rules, and we play by the rules. That's what Nordy said. Our he's our team, uh, our, uh, our leader, chapter leader. And he goes, oh, I know what the rules are. I'm just gonna. I'm wondering if you play by it. And I was like, man, Ew. you don't have to play by any you bag. You should just. You should just like right. I was like, seriously. nobody is using the rule where like if you're not cool, you can't join. So that's the thing. So the, the media and then Doug admitted that he gave somebody. I gave well, they passed a card. They passed the, They passed. So that's the thing. The nine old. The, there's. Let's just get into it. There, if you want to recruit somebody into the media health association, you have these little cards, and they are. Um, you're not basically. Uh, you're not a douchebag. So you get, you do the, <laughs> it's called the nine hole douchebag rule. And if you probably go, feminists don't like that word, I, well, I don't know. But I'm a feminist and I'm not offended. But myself. if you, um, just don't be a jerk. Yeah, golf nine holes with somebody. And if they're cool, they can join. And you give them one of these cards and it's like, face it, you suck. Join the Media Oakland Golf Association. And if they're not cool, then you don't, then you don't say anything about it and you're alone. That's but you it. gave him a card. No, no. I gave him a card because not that guy. Another guy who was cool. So oh, I thought know. you gave somebody a card that was like, you're not. No, you can't join. No, I gave a guy a card because he was you cool. You gave a guy a good card. Yeah. There's only good cards or nothing. Right. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> Amy loves it when <laughs> things are nice and there's no like, like <laughs> nobody's rude. And I agree. But sometimes it's it's worth I think we get way too sports in this country are way too mean. Well, it's because people like, tie their identity to sports and if they're sports yeah, they lose and they lost. And it's you know, That's fandom it. in general is that way. It's it's like people get their identities. It's why when people get all butthurt like with Marvel movies and stuff like that, and you're like, dude. Did you make it? Are you actually Superman? What do you care? Yeah. I am. And and Oh, that's DC, by the way. We're gonna get letters. That's right. Nobody. Except for that, I know that. So screw your letter. She did it on Don't purpose. send me a letter. <laughs> All right. So I'm writing you a letter. <laughs> you went, oh, oh, wait. I she got, doesn't even know the difference between Marvel and DC. What else do I need? And you guys were talking about sports. Oh, we need two, uh, two, three tablespoons of sugar also. Because you got to, you know, crazy. sweeten it up. Oh, hey, I found, the, I found the one I was looking for. Here it is. I put it in the Wow, bag. it's in the sugar? Yeah. The sugar scoop's in the sugar? Yeah, sugar. That's weird. Oh, now I called you sugar. That's way more than one. That's a heapy. Does this say heapy? You thought, what about butter? What happened about butter? I'm just getting lazier and lazier. It's just Love cinnamon it. in the butter already. Who, who, who has that? Mandalakes or something? Oh. How is Probably. it? How's everybody out there? I try to only tell them about Visitor land. What have you guys been doing for the last, you know, two weeks that, that we haven't seen yet? Last day of school. Woohoo! Oh, that's Woo right. Woohoo! School's out dun, for dun, summer dun, around dun, these dun, parts. Dun, dun, dun. Finally. Yeah. Oh, son. That's a major. Colorado seniors graduated second week of May, and all their schools were done by the first the Friday before. Yeah, the but morning. they don't get the long breaks that we get. Right. And Washington's it's still a in trade school, so. They don't get the one in October, but they get like, holidays and winter Well, break, then they must right? have less than 180 days. Ooh. They had 14 Sundays, too. Washington, yeah. Washington's still in school, so. Andrew gets mad at me for saying that like this, but that's because it's true. Educators and babysitters. I don't like the three days that we had to come back, but. I didn't like having a I day to it. get ready for graduation. How were your senior meetings? Did every senior show up? They all I'll showed up. I'll just be over here by myself. Graduate. Don't worry. They all showed up, though. I'm they all showed up, but did not graduate. It's fine. Don't worry about it. I'm fine. I got it, everybody. What happened? Yeah. I, it's <laughs> just you guys are doing your thing. I'm just doing my thing. We're just having a good time. So, no, I actually had to tell a student who thought she was graduating that she was a credit short. And oh. That is heartbreaking. Yeah. I told her she needs to get the thing from Price is Right. Deefy is like what? In upstate yeah. New York? And they're, where's Deefy? She in New York? No, that's yeah. Amazing. She's up. She's up in. Okay. She's up in New York. They're New York. still in school for another week. Oh, wah wah. Seattle goes no longer. Yeah. Don't they? 
Yep. Let's get she through. thought she was graduating, but she's I not. thought she uh, <gasps> You her? thought she was graduating? She didn't pass me. Oh. So I'm going to just do this, and then yeah. I'm going to put the spout in there. So you know, I had to have tutoring in order not to. I mean, I was going to graduate, but they put me in dumb, dumb math when I in college. And then I went and I got tutored for two weeks and took the test again. Because we were in the I same didn't. math class. Yeah, then I didn't go. We were not, we were not in dumb, dumb math. Yes, we were in. I know I was going to be we in, in, we were, be in football now. We were in semi-dumb, dumb math, but. I didn't have to math class. We were this is like we fishing in a carnival. Math class. class. Actually, they put me in a higher, they put me in 28 instead of 24. We were in 20. That I qualified for 28 after I got my tutoring, but I was like, no. <laughs> what do I have to take? And they were like, well, you have to take this. I'm like, then I will take that. All right. Well, I. Mrs. What was her name? I can picture her, but. Yeah. I it was only 25 years ago. Year. I was also. I didn't take math my now. senior year of high school. Oh, and so I forgot everything. Because we didn't I took have physics. to. Right. I, took, I, I took, told my students that all the time. I said, I didn't take that math. I don't know how to. I, I took physics in the. Uh, I didn't take that either. Physics? No way. Yeah. I didn't take physics. Want to share this with me? No. I didn't take physics. What are you talking about? I have one right here. I didn't take chemistry. Right. I only took chemistry in college. That was terrible. Does oh, else? Did you take with Dr. Rose? Yeah. He was great. But he I was, was great. I was so not. Okay. Honest. He's the one that taught us things like sensitive shampoo just means it has more water in yeah. it. Yeah. I just wanted to, I was had enjoyed listening to him. And all makeup brands have a uh, drugstore like dupe. Is it really good? Yeah, it's really good. Oh, are you giving up on the... No, I'm just getting the stuff out of it, and then I'm giving you... Uh... Oh, okay. Is that like Gimme Size Whale Black? What? This no. This has like fish bladders in it. Vegans can't drink this. Who can? Vegans? Vegans? Well, what do don't we care? be a vegan. Here you go. <laughs> well, those bladders are delicious. <laughs> That was not <laughs> that was not graceful, everybody, but it is what it is. And then I got a fancy cup for me. Denise, do you want? I like no, the shoving you. of the orange slice. <laughs> you will fit. Jack, do you want some do you want some yeah, sangria? That, 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 do you want some sangria? It helps you. It helps you. It makes you it's smart. It's really delicious. You it makes you smart. Any. I can't oh, have wow, it. that is a weird year. My math teachers were terrible. And then haha. Ha, I took physics, but our teacher was out for most of the year and then died. It was oh. a weird year. Oh, that is awful. a weird year. My uh, physics teacher did not die, but he, were, he, he was a rocket scientist for NASA, and he was weird. I didn't take Mr. Physics. Feldman was his name, and he was a nice guy. guy. I did. I'll talk, I was going to talk about that. Yeah. Um, but Mr. Feldman, Feldman uh, took offense one time because um, <laughs> what I – a friend of mine said in the class, he basically is a high schooler, and he said a Wait, high school thing. Wait, which one is this? The one that passed away or the weird one? No, the weird one. Okay. And he said during a physics lesson, this is stupid, under his breath, or so he thought. And what Mr. Feldman thought he said was, you are stupid. Ooh. And then he didn't say anything. And then the next time we came in to the classroom, he had taken the four, we had the, this was the only classroom that had the sliding uh, chalkboards oh, on fancy. it, and Ooh. he had written every single undergraduate, graduate, and doctoral class he'd ever taken, Oof. and and said, "Who thinks I'm stupid now?" Oh wow, that's amazing. So it was pretty fun. All right, well, uh, if you've got a drink out there, don't call you Deefy, You are like you're. You're bad luck when it comes to teachers. I would never want to teach you. People die. Well, I agree. It's delightful. Well, I, it is delightful. I will say that I recently went and gave a presentation to a group of people. And my second slide was, these are all of the professional development classes I have designed and or facilitated. I don't think that's. I popped it up there because I knew one person was going to push to me in the group. So I popped that up there and I said, so I think I know what I'm talking about, and I'm happy to give you my resume if you'd like to look into it further. And we then I carried on with my presentation. Chocolate eclairs are amazing. I know it is my CV. All right. So this recipe says uh, you need uh, a 
generous amount of oil. Our 10th grade bio teacher taught us how to make moonshine. Awesome. <laughs> oh, <laughs> like we just still um, tongue depressors. And our teacher was like, if you change the tongue depressors and put in vodka, or put in potatoes, you get vodka. You get vodka. Why, Why would you just sell a tongue depressor? Ooh, isn't that Everclear? No, that's poison. <laughs> why, why were they letting you make clothes? Seriously. <laughs> we were the cool class. It was right after we dissected cats. Mm. All right. So I, I cut up four. Actually, I cut up more than that. I cut up five uh, medium-sized potatoes. And the reason uh, I did that is because I want more of this. So I'm going to just try and dry off these as much as possible because the water is going to cause... Um, it's Are you frying them? Pop and boil oh, yeah. and all that. Mm. But that's why people tune in, honey. I know. Well, that's see I mean, your misery. D- <laughs> see if you get burned by DT's frying. probably like, why is he, I haven't seen him burn himself in months, so I'm just throwing potatoes on the ground now. No one watches NASCAR. It's true. Um, okay. Well, so I bought a Weber uh, barbecue, and that was fun. I did it. I'm not. A, I don't have children, but I have dogs, and so I said I bought myself a Father's Day gift because. But because it's Daddy Dog Day. <laughs> Doug came home and he was like, subtly, not so subtly, hinting about wanting a Weber grill, even though. When he got the Traeger smoker, I he promised me that he could get rid of his barbecue because you can barbecue on this and blah, 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 blah. And then, how, uh, like, what, two years later, now we have to have a... What the hell's a Latvian put, ice pop? Putting potatoes on a tongue depressor, like some sort of disturbing potato ice pop. Oh. Latvian ice pop is a delicacy. <laughs> So finally, I was just like, whatever, get, what do I care? Okay, so there's a couple of steps here. Because, so when these start to fry up, I'm going to move them over here because they're going to be like passive. i got to check on them, but that's fine. And then we've got to make the uh, Wait, why are you moving them over there? Sauce because they need to go for like 20 minutes and they need to turn them every once in a while. But I have to make a bra- the brava sauce, which is like the, it's a little spicy, but then that's why we're making the aioli to cut that. And then also you have the You're moving drink. the pan over there. You're not moving the potatoes into that small pan. I am not. No, that's okay, true. I gotcha. No, I'm not. <laughs> I did not see that. I did not. I got it. So somebody asked me, who asked me if I had made, if I had made uh, gnocchi before? I am not. But I think we have a gnocchi board, don't we? So I didn't you get a gnocchi board? We have a gnocchi board. Pork and I was going to say, wait, I a flashback okay. to the whole um, dissecting something conversation from earlier. I was really mad when we moved to Reno because my <clears throat> previous junior high science class, we were getting ready to, we'd already dissected frogs and we were going to dissect baby sharks. Baby shark, do, 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 do. baby shark, do, yeah. do, do, do. and I missed out on baby it. Baby shark. It's the baby With shark from the Loblin got it. It's the baby shark from the Elephants. No? No. No, I didn't get to do it because I moved here. <laughs> She's very... And I went to Clay Middle School, which looked like a women's prison. I and I got put Clay. in... I got put in remedial reading because I didn't have any other class to put me in. <laughs> and, and then, like, some sort... Of just, like, regular math class, which I, everyone then called me the mathlete because I was, like, one month ahead in the book. And so I actually knew what was going on. <laughs> but yet you were the, the first time I was ever like praised so for my math skills. Are you saying between Clayton and college, McQueen took your math skills down? <laughs> no, I'm just saying when when you're slightly ahead of things, then you look like you know what you're doing. We did a fetal pig. You know, it caught up to me. Uh, oh, I got a story about that. One time, uh, right before people were... I never did a pig. We did a fetal pig. But the worst part about that is... So, it, here, let's take some shine off of this. But they come in a bucket. <laughs> uh, and <laughs> Is there a hole? 
<laughs> there is not. But what happened is that somebody was carrying the bucket to well, yeah, I the pigs. Yeah, I too. And um, the bucket spilled everywhere. And <laughs> Formaldehyde? Yeah. And oh. so dead the, pig? And dead pig. So there was literally, we had to leave the people. We had finished. And so it was the next class, but we had like, you, you could smell the formaldehyde. Oh. And they had to bring in a hazmat team. They had to clean it up. That class didn't get to dissect the pigs because they didn't have any more and they were like last class to do it. Oh, man, Why couldn't they just pick them, the them up off the floor? They're already dead. I think we had, it was like a hazmat thing. They like scooped them up and threw them away. I don't oh, know. what a waste. Talk, what a waste. Talk to the hazmat team. Those pigs died for nothing. Talk to the hazmat team. No, that's my hand. Okay, I'm, so I'm going to add these that's in. That's awesome. Here. Do you guys know that um, ladies used to go to the morgue and have them illegally put drops of formaldehyde in their nail polish because formaldehyde makes your nail polish last longer? Really? It's not good for you, but yes. Hmm. They used to wear like lead. Yeah, yeah lead paint. Hmm. We did. We had a uh, survival class in fifth grade. Uh, what was that guy's name? Because you grew up in Alaska. He carried a knife on his. Of course his, he did. On his. Was like, it every day. It was like Dundee of the day. fucking Alaska? No, I don't know. I, don't <laughs> I just swore. Sorry. <laughs> oh, we did frogs in fifth grade and seventh grade. It was more fun in fifth grade. So I'm kind of trying to get these to one layer here so that they can go that. The giant worms were cool. We Maybe did, that's uh, why I have those flashbacks when you have like the giant worms in the garden. Ooh. It freaks me out. We did mealworms in one thing. This is not uh, obviously. You can't dissect a mealworm. They're no, too wait. small. Well, you could do a lot of things with them now and give Grow them. Grow them into sure. bugs. Yeah, that was gross. Um, I know this is not great. Uh, <laughs> <that's>, <laughs> oh, God, oh, oh, oh. Ew, our fifth grade teacher. Taught us all the things about the frogs and gave us each a frog and sharp things and said to have fun and don't make a mess. <laughs> <laughs> That's a great day. Good old days. That's amazing. Yeah. Well, okay. So speaking of the good old and days. And then he sat back and decided who was going to be a serial killer and who was <laughs> <laughs> So everybody has like teachers that are very influential to them. And hopefully, um, you know, you could you probably think of somebody. Mrs. T. Michelle and Mrs. <laughs> yeah. are the, are the yeah. highlights. <laughs> when I was in... Uh, <laughs> When I was in middle school, oh actually, you know, junior high was the way it started. Uh, there, we had a we they built a ropes course in seventh grade, which I thought was amazing. But we didn't get to do it until eighth grade. But we had a, a history teacher. His name was Bob Summer, and he was a, an amazing teacher. Uh, first teacher that treated students like they were human beings and not children, which I found to be interesting. Uh, my friend Mato had wrote a very beautiful sort of. Th telling of things. Not, not, not children, but lesser. Yeah. And <laughs> he talked about like when he was the first, like, first few days of class, like he was being class clown, smart ass. And he told him to knock it off. But instead of discouraging him, he moved his desk to next to his desk. And then when Mutter would say something, he would fire one liners back at him. Right. <laughs> and uh, one of the most special things about him was that Ted's mom, my friend Ted, she was the librarian. And so we ate lunch every day in her office because, well, we were nerds and we didn't like marry many people. But one of the best parts about it was that Mr. Summer would eat lunch in there with us. And so we got to know him and he was a good guy. And um, <laughs> we had the one time, this is a fun story, but one time uh, we <laughs> were eating, uh, we found like dried fruit and it had gone over. And so when we, it were, fermented? And when we were eating it, we were like, the three of us, it was Ted and his, uh, the four of us, Ted, his mom, and, I, like, and Mr. Summer, and we're like, I think this might have gone bad. And he goes, I think it may have fermented. We probably should stop eating it. Now, I was an eighth grade boy who was not very smart sometimes. And one time, he, we were joking around, and I said to him, are, what are you, drunk? And because I meant, it meant to basically say, what have you been eating for me? A callback to the right. fermented fruit. To which he whipped around and said, out in the hallway. And I was like, shocked, because I was like, didn't understand what was happening. But 
he came out and he was like, look, I get what you were trying to do, but you can't, t- you can't ask if I'm drunk in the middle of class. <laughs> but one of the best things that came out of that was we did uh, a like American West unit and we talked about gold panning and that kind of stuff. And so one weekend, he invited Ted and I to go gold panning in Hope, Alaska. And it was, it was pretty awesome because it was like, again, application, seeing us as not equals, but like taking us in, like, it was really fun. And we were just like three people who went out and had this amazing time. We took a whole day. And, you know, it's a testament to him, but also the, the, the outpouring of love for this teacher was, you know, everybody loved him. And so my tribute is you should love everybody, teach them, and be nice. And, you know, you don't know what impact that has on people. I'm 45 years old. I was 14 at the time, 13 at the time, and I still think about it often. So, you know, as you move through life, it's kind of a thing. And I understand why people teach, because they get that kind of impact, and maybe you don't know that. And I'm often sad that I didn't ever seek him out when I would go there or whatever. But a lot of people use the milepost of would Mr. Summer be proud of what we've done? And that in and I think I think he would be. So yeah. carry on, you <laughs> crazy son of a bitch. But you know, the, he was an amazing person just in general. He had cancer at 23, throat cancer at 23. He didn't let that get down. He had a scar that went across his neck. Like, sort of, uh, you know, sort of like uh, I've seen before, but kids would say, what is that? And you go, oh, I got bit by a shark. Or uh, I got caught on a meat hook. Things like that. This was hilarious. But then you come to find out, he, people, again, he was the person who did the things that people often said they would do. So, like, he climbed uh, Denali, Mount Denali, to for cancer for kids. You know, he uh, did it on his own. He, wa- he, he was, he was a, Outdoorsman, he was he's just an amazing person. So the world is a lesser place because he's not in it. So you should find your old teachers that had an impact and you should tell them that. So So where did Mudder uh it's on him? medium.com. Okay. He has his own uh, uh, thing and that's I'll I'll send it, I'll show it to you. Oh, but yeah. anyways, it's a very nice tribute and a lot of people have sent it out and he battled cancer more than once and you know, but never Never let it get down. And he taught at Kenai Middle School for 35 years. You know? And so it was a pretty amazing, pretty amazing guy. So now we got that out of the way. I'm glad you talked about him. He was very impactful on my young life. How about that? So these are going, and we're going to just watch it. They're going to be low and slow, and they're going to just start to crisp up. Um, But what we're going to do now is we're going to make this brava sauce. And we need uh, measures, and we need things to go from here. So, what do we got? We need one tablespoon of olive oil. That's a teaspoon. That's not going to be enough. And I'm going to throw this in there. And this is just like a, it's not really, it's a sauce, but it's more slurry. And it goes over the top, and then the heat from the... Um, the heat from the, the potatoes, once they're done, they... Uh, you know. What are you uh <clears throat> yeah. what are you serving this with? What am I serving this? The our main meal? Yeah. A little bit of barbecue flank steak. So I had flank steak in did Portland. Did you already talk about that? No. I did not. Okay. And it was you talked about your Weber grill that you have. Right. <laughs> but I, I like like I usually sous vide um and the steak, but I wanted it, but I have this and it's thin enough that you really don't need to do that. I mean once that gets hot and it's going to be hot quickly, um, then we don't have to really worry about it. So t- this is a Hungarian style paprika, which means it's smoked pack, smoked paprika. Nope, paprika. Paprika. <laughs> so I've got two teaspoons of this. This is where it's, most of the heat is going to come from. I got to make sure I'm doing that. Yep. That's, yeah, and then. Um, Anyways, 
And then you've got a little bit of a half cup of tomato uh, paint sauce. But if you wanted to, you could, um, you could probably double this up if you've got more potatoes than, you know. So, so a half cup. <laughs> oh, why is that so hot? It should be hot. Rules. It's the rules. Oh, man. The paprika smells delightful. Okay. Ooh. And then um, it's basically then hot sauce. So I'm just using Tabasco because, again, it's beer for <laughs> famous. Oh, no. What? Hey, this was the same teacher who had a piranha, and we all got good grades. If we all got good grades, we got to watch him feed a tadpole <laughs> to it. <gasps> Aww. Hey, you know. It's a circle of life. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. What's going that on? That smells really good. There's so much. What going. is it? Mm, what's in there right now? There's tomato paste. There's tomato sauce. There's um, paprika. There's olive oil and hot sauce, and that's it. Really good. And so this, this covers the potatoes. I had to go blow my nose because your story made me sad. What? Well, it made me sad too, but I tried. I, I powered through it. You did. I'm proud of you. Yeah. Well, you know, I guess it's it's. I, because I, you have talked about that man to me yeah. our, our whole yeah. time together. Like, I know stories about him. Yeah, I mean, he he, he got permission he every really year. He did make an impression on you. He got permission every year to fire a ball and musket at school. <laughs> like, <laughs> he had that, and it was amazing. And, like, you got to see, like, he played, um, he played that song, uh, Johnny Horton's Battle of New Orleans in eighth grade. And the best part about it was, so that was like a favorite among my house. Like we listened to that like for recreation. And um, I knew all of the words. And I think partly I ingratiated myself to him in that way, not only because we ate lunch together. Wait, but, what's that? Wait, what song is that? Is that in 1814? Yeah. Oh, yeah, you yeah. sang that to me before. Many times. <laughs> so That's my mom's favorite. Okay, so it's I'm your gonna... mom's favorite. She loves that song. Oh my gosh, you got to sing that with Rusty next time. <laughs> <laughs> As if she needs to love you anymore. Right. That's warm. I'm gonna let that do its thing. All right. So while this is still doing its thing here, um, are they supposed to be fried? Yeah. They're not fried yet. No, they they're gonna get um so. You're going to, you know, olive oil, you're going to add the cubes, fry until golden brown and crispy. That take 15 to 20 minutes because it's on medium. We're not, it's not like they're totally. So we just, we're going to watch it. But we also need to make aioli, but this is really easy. And then we're going to just kind of, we're going to chat and have other time. Uh, what are we going to make next week? That's the real question. And what am I going to do when you're gone? Denise and I are just going to be in here, like, talking to each other, like two of the, the most awkward people ever. Chicken wings? Everybody. Ew, disgusting. So, as you guys know, aioli is just garlicky mayonnaise with a few extra fun stuff in it. It's a little lemon juice. So. What are you going to do when I'm gone? I don't know. We're going to party. So. Too bad. I'm going to party. We're going to be on the, the float, the, the lazy lady. river. Okay. Drink cocktails. Well, mm -hmm. next week, uh, we'll have oh, to, yeah. before you leave, do you leave next week? Two weeks. Know. Two weeks. 27. Oh, okay. So we're going to have to do something. This coming week is. Oh, week. Shh. I was going to say, on Thursday of next week, it's Amy's birthday. So we are going to probably do something special on Saturday for her birthday. We are. Aren't we going to the steakhouse? On my birthday? On birthday? your actual birthday. On my actual birthday? Yeah. So on Saturday, we're going to do something fun. I'm just going to invite you guys, but you won't be here. What are we you going to, um, what are you going to, what would you in. request for your birthday? What the hell is that? To eat? Yeah, to eat for the, for the side dish. That's an Amy mm. Benabuki extravaganza. What? Oh, no. <gasps> 
<laughs> and next year's a leap year, so next year on a Saturday, it's going to be an actual birthday. Then it'll be we'll really be five years in. We'll be five years into it then. No. Yeah, <laughs> I, you're five not. Years. You're not wrong, Pin. Sangria on a lazy river sounds amazing. As a matter of fact, I'm going to give myself. Some it money. does sound amazing. Mm. I don't know if there's. I don't think there's a swim up bar. You know the thing if is, there was it would be really. I will tell you this. This. Um, <laughs> Amy, one time, I'm going to tell you a story about that. You're probably going to tell you this, but one time, <laughs> long, long time ago, at our old house, Amy and I, we were getting ready. This is how, how long ago it was. We used to go out. And um, <laughs> we were pre gaming before go going, out. going out. And uh, Denise and another friend came over. We were getting ready. Who was it? I think it was Kelly. Was it Kelly or was it Lisa? It was, was Lisa. Lisa. That's so, right. And uh, I was a long time. Amy was drinking sangria on the couch out of a box. That someone, so someone at work had given me like this little like drink kit thing, and it was or, a sangria. Like, gift basket thing, and it had a box, a boxed, like single serving box sangria. And she's sitting like, there on the couch. These things were like new, like yeah. sitting there on the couch drinking it away, and Lisa and Denise get there, and we're sitting and. I'm not really paying attention, and Amy goes, man, this sangria is really good, and then doesn't offer anybody a drink to try it themselves. It's a single-serving thing out of a box. Yeah, right. Like, not like a juice box. Would you offer somebody else a drink of your, or Kool-Aid? Or you would pour your juice box into a cup for somebody? No, I mean, you, wouldn't. you might, you might, if you make the statement. This sangria is really good. I just meant they should get themselves some. Right, right exactly. <laughs> this is your defense, the old past. <laughs> I, I think I even said 15 you years. Get yeah, you did. Yeah. But there was none for you to get, so I will enjoy it, it by myself. It was mine. It was my birthday. It was in my box of sangria. It was mine. It was my birthday. So, what I'm hearing is nothing has changed in 20 years. No. But I mean, I'm consistent, if nothing else. Yeah. <laughs> hey, guess what we guess what missed? <laughs> Our 21st uh, anniversary of dating. June 1st. Aww. We didn't celebrate 20, so that's you were, um, I think. No, June 1st. I was here. I wasn't anywhere else. No, I was saying. So this is I got, my, I got my wedding. I got my wedding ring repaired. Yes, you did. What, what did, did they, they tell you? you? They can't upsize it anymore because I'm too fat. <laughs> So well, I is, squeezed it onto my finger as I walked out of the jewelry say, just to like prove something. They didn't and say that. And then I part. had to lick my finger and <laughs> to get it off again because <laughs> I was afraid my finger would go purple. And then I came home and said to Doug, "I have to start walking so I can wear my ring." We'll walk it. We'll sweat our. It people. is very shiny though. This, up a few this is so off. good. It's, why have we not made sangria like all the time? It's a really pretty ring. We'll sweat it out. And why did, yeah, we sure. did. I saw that. Yeah. We should we should just make sangria and have it in the fridge. It's fortified. Well, I'm the only one in this house that drinks. I would, this tastes like Kool-Aid. It does. I would drink this. I'm all alone <laughs> here, folks. I tell you. What's... Um, and then you take it to school because it's juice. What's your, your favorite... Juice. What's everybody's favorite non-traditional potato dish? What does that mean? What's it a mean, non... What? Non... Okay, there you go. Yeah. When's the last time you had gnocchi? Oh, no, I thing. like the Friuli potatoes that are like butter. Frigo. Frigo. There's a guy on the top. Those are the ones you made for us? Yeah. There's a guy sort on the of, top that makes you right away from... They Friuli. were not like... <laughs> they were like it, but not like it. Non-traditional potato dish. Yeah, that's what I want to know. So not a French fry. Non-traditional potato So I can't say Red Robin French fries that are covered in seasoning. No, they're, no those are, I mean, those are good, but yes, no. Well, I started making just frying the French fries now when we do stuff, mm -hmm. and they're so much better. Non-traditional potato dish. Potato tot casserole. Potato <laughs> tot casserole. Yeah, that's a non-traditional potato dish. Okay. I don't I do love tater tots. I was going to say. Shepherd's pie? Love it. has potato on it. Uh, We've got Irish nachos? 
Those that are all, those are those are delicious. What about you out in in viewer land? What is your favorite non traditional potato dish? Something that's like, yeah, this is awesome, but nobody makes. If that dog scrapes on that screen door one more time, I'm gonna send him home with Andrew. Well, now. it's blue, so what are you gonna do? I told you, I'm gonna send him home with Andrew. <laughs> You guys want puppies, right? I got two of them. They're cute. Yeah. Not golden. So this is just a little, like, a dipping sauce. So you don't need to make a ton of these. You can have them. <laughs> if you really want... If you really Jack want... deserves to be an only dog where he is the center of attention. We, would, we always try to get another puppy from Maddie. She was a one... No. She wanted to be Jack would, castle. Jack would really prefer to not. We thought maybe not, but he really does want it. I, I thought we got blue for him because Piper's old. And, you know, that was a mistake. Poor Woody. All right, and then we need uh, one tablespoon of lemon juice to go in this. And that's it. In the, in the mayonnaise, yeah, it's, it's a, lemon, garlic, and mayonnaise. That's it. Oh. We need tiny whisk, everybody. Tiny whisk. <laughs> that should be a bumper sticker, too. <laughs> Just a picture of a tiny, tiny whisk. I'm still trying a to think of a non-traditional potato dish. If 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 we had a picture, if we have a T-shirt of a tiny whisk anthropomorphized. And it had that, and it was saying uh, with two eyes and mouth, and it just said, and it said, like, oh, like the Microsoft paperclip. <laughs> Mr. Clippy. I mean, that is like Mr. Clippy. That is a poll, and I wouldn't have used that as an example, but yeah, sure. I mean, it's what you said. <laughs> there you go, Ping. Or it could be Mr. What's his I name? think Tiny Whisk on a T-shirt with just Mr. his legs and everything is is a great idea. Poopy butthole. <laughs> the, the yeah, the poop that has the top. Poopy butthole. No, no. that's on the side. That's that, Ah uh, yes, yes, Hanks, yes. That's what it is. Everybody, everybody's, in, everybody in the in the chat is doing tiny whisk. I love it. <laughs> I think who's this. El Gonquin most? They go. Oh, uh, that's Nate, right? No, no. They. No, We've Nate's been there. Key, whatever. Uh, uh, Gonquin moose is from the Reddit or the Minecraft server as well. They go Andromeda on there. Not from Alaska. No. Okay. Did Ryan get remarried? Oh yeah. Oh. Yeah, he's a whole new family now. I know. Yeah, you guys met him. Remember when we went to, when Jan and Ryan met us out in wine country? Yes. Yeah. They divorced. And he was the one who ordered a tomato Already? ponzel and didn't like it because it had too much you bread. He ordered the bread salad and then was like, there's no salad. And you were like, yeah, it's called bread salad. Bread and lettuce, that's what it is. It's kind of like, kind of like Greek salad with no lettuce. <laughs> your wife it said that she would would like this Greek salad if it didn't have lettuce in it. So it was basically cucumbers and tomatoes. And tomatoes. That's a salad, though. It is, but it's not a Greek salad. Oh, that. It's so simple, but it's, it's so, so good. Simple. So I was going to sit over there. Let's look at our potatoes. They are crispy up. That's good. Honey, I just have I just have fruit salad in here. Me Could too. You put some lime in here. Sure. Hand them over. I am. Just give me one sec here. I want to make sure that you can start to see. I, I don't know if you can see this. It's starting to crisp up. Yes, we see it. Andrew, would you like more? I do. Yes. I do. I do. It's going to be in the. You didn't even. What are you doing? I'm sipping. I'm sipping. I'm eating the, I'm eating the apples. <laughs> He wasn't going to put the apples in. I was like, no, put the apples in. The apples are good. Oh, jerk. Yes, a Greek salad does have lettuce in no, it. No, it doesn't. No, it doesn't. We had this conversation. I have had, when I go to a Greek, when I've gone to a Greek it's, restaurant. No, they do have, you, they do have it's, you can have it with lettuce, but you can also have it without lettuce. Well, every Greek salad I've ever had. Well, the Greek salad well, I have You grew up lettuce. in Alaska, so what does that say? Um, I've lived here for 25 years, basically. Well, which well, is more time? I've been with you which for is a lot more, of those years. So what I'm hearing is we have a large Greek very population. Few Greek <laughs> also, I ate Indian food for many years before you had, you saw me eat it either. I don't think that's true. Oh, I saw a thing on the, uh, Facebook. Was like, uh, because you loved that soup and it had a ton of cumin in it. Curry. I'm not or curry. Indian. Yeah. There was a thing on I saw on Facebook, the best Indian restaurants. And I was like, ooh. 
Was we've it tried. for YG? I don't know. I didn't read it. We did like three or four. Like we've honestly we've tried it numerous times and we still just <laughs> I just said I saw it. And I said oh, I yeah. saw a thing on Facebook about the best Greek restaurant or uh, Indian restaurant. I didn't read it. I didn't and read I can't it. Tell you what they are. You know what you sound like? I just, you know on Live Out it was like you where like, Joni oh. says I, I saw a tweet about the New Yorker article about you. That's what that's that energy right there. Yep. I saw it. I saw a tweet about you about your article hey, in the New Yorker. You talk about that when we went to Bawarchi. Mm. I was mad. You were so much nicer. Why? We walked in. The gal was more. Con- oh, do you see that eye roll, everybody? The gal was more concerned about the takeaway orders Ooh, than nice. about us waiting there. Yeah. Then they finally cleaned the table and got us seated. They were understaffed because then the we owners- sat down and then I, because I started inching towards the door and Doug was like, "We're not leaving, so just deal with it." Yeah. Then we got seated, and then I realized what was happening, and I, I don't know if that was the owner or what, but he had a whole table full of people, and he called her by her name to come and take their order. Before, yeah, he be, was not. He was not seen. kind. No, he or was not, he was not nice to her. I don't know. Then she came, and we were so we were like, okay, gotta like up the charm, up the niceness. Mm. She looked super stressed. Yeah, yeah. So we did, and the the food is always amazing there. And then we tipped her well. And then remember when she came back and she was like, so she was like a little weight had been lifted. Yeah, she was. Like, like somebody was actually she was telling worried. her she was doing a good job. I think she was also worried that like, well, she probably with good, good merit that we were upset. We were at first, but not anymore. And then, you know, nobody wants to be in that situation where you're over. There's like, there were two servers. The restaurant was getting full. No, there full. was one server and a bus girl. I mean, right. that was it. And then the restaurant was getting full. And then there were, I mean, that place and was all, and they do a ton, ton of takeout. Of takeout. So. But what she's right, right up, up here, here on those outhouse. Like, like we, could, we, we but, talked about but walking But we had a there. mango lassi. Which we've never had before. Yeah. Wow. It is a yogurt-based drink. It was kind but of, it is really good if the food is spicy, yeah, because it kills it. Yeah, uh, but it also it was, was like I didn't it was like, like drinking a yogurt. Yes, Ew. it was, and I didn't like it so much with our appetizer. But once we started eating our meal, and because the butter chicken was a little spicier than normal, normal, yeah, yeah. I did like it because it cut it really nicely. I love their food. It's really good. It's really their jasmine rice. Their rice grains are well, like jasmine three rice. Three quarters of an inch long. The gal from one of the kitchen gal from the kitchen came out and she delivered our food. And I said to her, and I think there was a translation uh, issue. I think there was a language issue. And I said, <laughs> We love your rice. I where do you I want to be like, we don't know where you get your rice. No, because, he said, Where do you get it? And she just laughed. And she went, <laughs> Yes. <laughs> Do the international sign of I don't I know what you're, you're talking saying. about. I gotta get the hell out of here, basically. Yeah. Just eat your food and like it. So I'm I'm stirring this a little bit because again, you know, there's it's not enough to cover the top of it. But I like the way this is starting to work. <laughs> oh my gosh, that sounds like a lot of trouble. What? Sangria and a big Sangria hat? in one of those beer hats with a wide brim on a lazy oh river. God. Sounds like Amy oh. drowning. By the time you get to the end of it, you're so drunk, you're just like this. <laughs> what? What? That was in Houston. That's a delight. They had a lazy river at the hotel that was in the shape of Texas. And <laughs> we got to the panhandle, they just gave us another ride. Oh my god, that'd be fucking awesome. And they were all in plastic cups. Oh, the pool, and they Sorry. dipped them in honey and then toasted <gasps> Yeah, so that the toasted coconut stuck so to the ground. were you in Houston oh, for RA in 2019 before the world shut down? Just a um, oh, let's see what I'm supposed to be doing. Yeah, that's why the world shut down in Texas. I'm just supposed to be doing I've been this. I like Texas. I like Houston. Yeah, but you gotta go in February. Yeah, was yeah. Don't go, don't go in July. It was hot. That's why I had to hang that's out. That's why I'm not excited room. about. Well, I'm not excited about going to oh. Florida at all. But that's I'm less moment, excited hope. because it's in July. Well, the Andrew said I couldn't go on the start. Did you have an extra six thousand dollars laying around that yeah, I don't know? Why is it six thousand dollars? It was the three-day ride. 
Do you get a good offer and go to the bathroom? I would like to go see the Hogwarts thing. No, no, you- it's like, the whole thing is like somebody was talking about going um, to Universal so on one of the days. Like the ship, so if I hear that somebody's out, going, I'll let you know. That's all I really care about. Hey, dogs, be quiet. Shush. Has anybody done that? Has what? Anybody, uh, done the Star Wars experience? It, was it Disney, Disney, Disney World? World? Yeah. They're canceling it. Well, yeah. Why wouldn't you? Well, not only that. What do you mean they're canceling it? Because it's $6,000 six for like three nights. It's, it, it was Three designed days. for the you mean rich they're, anyways. They're discontinuing it? Yes. yes. Okay. They're like stopping the ride. So. Oh, I'm going to clean up. I said right. you have no money. <laughs> I'm not really. I mean, Although, not, to audience and TV, though. You're 21. Go to Florida. It's okay. You're 21. Mm. You don't care about politics anymore. Go to Mexico. People no, people are dying, are dying in Mexico. Eh, people die. In people, Mexico. I was gonna say, people die all over the place. People die in San Diego. They just don't advertise it as much. <laughs> That's right. Is that a selling point? That's not a huge draw if you're dying in your hotel room. Just go on a cruise, like across the Atlantic to Barcelona. Well, and eat I want to do that. that. That's spring break. Barcelona. Why did I think you guys were doing that on fall break? What are you doing on fall break? We're going to Colorado Springs. Oh. Um, we come to Colorado Springs. Wee! And you can't even do the people. Yeah. Everything needs a reservation. You can't just go to the top of Pikes Peak. You have to get a reservation. Yeah. You can't walk the Manitou Incline. Like every, oh, like I have quite a few friends that go there at like five thirty in the morning and walk. Incline. Welcome to Bitch Fest. Unfortunately, we will not be walking the Manitou today. Incline. <laughs> What's the Manitou? So we're starting to sound like those old people. Right? It's a hike that is up the hill. Yeah, I'm not. Uh, no, do I look like a hiker to you? Yes! <laughs> I was a guy in the Royal Canyon. Let's see. We I, I knew it. I knew there was a hidden talent. Where are we like, didn't we I have no idea what's happening. I'm I did not block. hike. Well, do, we did I hike used to pretend I was a hiker sometimes. Remember when I hiked that cinder cone? Holy crap, I hit it. Yeah. You guys hiked the pyramids at the Belize? So, uh, uh, That's not hiking. That was like a Jaunt. Protein. You still call it hiking. Pro, protein, yeah. yeah. Protein. You're going to want to let the sangria like sit for an hour or two in the yeah, fridge because, again, yeah. it's going to get way better, which is why I did half of it earlier. It's really good. It's real good. Oh, look, I'm I mean, here. Though I've made sangria before, but I've never made it with juice. I've always just done like wine, sparkling water, and fruit. I This is really good because you actually could. Sorry. <laughs> you could eat it, drink it right away because you're adding juice, not fruit. Well, yeah. I mean, we're on a boat, but. We're on a boat? <laughs> I'm like, we are? We've added both. But yes, yes the juice itself just adds to it. Oh, man. These are. Taking their sweet But remember time. a couple of years ago when new age wine was like the thing and you added a bunch of fruit to it? And essentially, you were making white sangria. But you didn't add fruit juice. You just added fruit. Is Correct. most sangria, do you add juice I don't know. and yeah. fruit? Yeah, mm-hmm. usually. And usually you add some kind of brandy. And brandy. Or for other fortified or wine. wine. Or, or spirit. Or you could add any, like, any kind of spirit, really. You could add like. Can vodka. you add port? Yeah, I don't see why not. And and juice. Mm-hmm. Oh, I've been making it wrong then. Oh, well. Because yeah. I've made it in the past, but I've just put chunks of fruit in it, and then, like you said, let it sit for a while. How do you guys make your sangria? Yeah, good question. That's a, that's a that's a poll for the audience. I mean, look at. Do you see how? Look at how pretty that is. Mm-hmm. Yeah, look at this one. Yeah, really I was gonna say the lemon is really like pretty. Yeah. It's delicious. You got a purdy mouth. It's purdy. <laughs> <laughs> no more saying. <laughs> I want to see your ear. After I said, you got a purdy mouth. You can't touch Loud my Loud warning, ear. everybody. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to lie to you, but we're going to have to get this going sooner than later because we're, about to, we're losing the plot back Do they, there. That's what happened. 
wins when you feed us sangria. Okay, These are both the nut earrings. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it's They're not when I feed you sangria. Like it. It's when you have a well, bottle and a half of wine before you have sangria. I didn't have a bottle and a half by myself. That's not what I said. <laughs> Correct. You, you implied. He was I, hinting. He I, was. He was. Did you put cherries in it? No, but you could have. That would have been good. You could crush them up a little bit first. We'll put them in there. What's stopping you? Just no, grab them and not squish them in your hand and throw them in. Let's see. Because <laughs> I do it. Raspberries, throw them and then cover them in chocolate. Yeah. What? They took like raspberries, put them on a baking sheet, put them in the freezer until they start. Oh, it's cherry I season. Like, you guys have cherry I trees? Like we have chocolate covered fruit. Are your fr- cherries? Those are the best. They are the best. Oh, wait. Next, next weekend, next right? Next weekend. Denise, did you know that? Yeah. We're going cherry picking at the Morgans. Yeah, they have cherries. There's a bunch of cherry trees. I even almost said the Morg, and I'm like, Yep. Uh, cherry <laughs> trees at the morgue, everybody. Remember when you reached out and touched my ear and you waved me out? <laughs> Nap earrings are the best, by the way. They're screw on backs that are smooth on the back of your earring. Type, type it into the chat. So you is. never have to take them out if you don't want to. And you can sleep in them and they don't poke your neck. I got Andrea a pair when I bought some for myself. I love them. You know what I did You're the other day? You're still wearing them. I am. When I was, eat- when I was eating cherries, I chewed, uh, I spit out the cherry and kept the seed in my mouth on accident. That was. <laughs> I'm not going to lie to you. I felt- you were like, damn it. I was like, Why? yeah, that was a Why that did was- I do that? That was a waste. The rest of these look weird, so I'm not going to put them in. Well, I think you should put them in because, I mean, it's booze, so. What do you mean they look weird? You want you don't want to eat them? No. Then throw them away. No. Huh? No. No. We gotta cut. No. We gotta cut the pits out because somebody will drink one and get it in their mouth. Then you have a cherry tree growing in your belly. That's not how any of that works. Totally works. Dang. It is. And we go on full circle back to science. 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 Okay. Okay, everybody. Everybody. No, but you have to smooch them. I, I did smoosh them. But you got to get them out first. You need to buy a cherry pitter. I do have a cherry pitter. Yeah. Them. Why don't you use the cherry pitter? Because this is more entertaining to watch me do it. I think the cherry pitter is pretty entertaining, actually. Let's compare. Oh, you're going to see that. <laughs> Only I get them. Mm. If you want to cut more, you can. That's right. Here, you can cherry pit them. I'll give you a bowl. Yeah, that'll be enough. And then I'll smush them. Nope. I'll smush them. Bring the mm-hmm. container over mm-hmm. here and I'll mm-hmm. do it. Mm-hmm. It's right here. No, not that container. The sangria container. Okay. Do, do, do. I don't think I know how this thing works. There we go. I don't know what's happening. I I probably lost control. It didn't come out. I did it right. Okay. So I I want to show you like these are looking pretty close. Pop it into here. Yeah, that's what I was hoping you wouldn't do. That? What I just did? No. Or the pit? The pit. Okay, 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 okay. Oh man, this thing is facial. <laughs> where's the other one? There, this is it. Oh, okay. oh where's the old school one? Obligated, obligated, I don't have any idea. I think we Obligatory? Got yeah. Suffer- yeah. Suffering makes it sweeter, DJ says. <laughs> that one works. That one sent it out. You know, like the old school one. We didn't keep them, any of them? I don't think so. Like the one my mom used. Yeah. Or well, maybe somewhere, but I'm going to keep stirring these around because I want them to get a little bit brown. So I'm going to. Man, I'm suffering for the art right now. If you were suffering for the art, you'd be on camera doing it and going like this <laughs> each time. You're not the best. I got to be still <laughs> 
Have you, there's a TikTok filter uh, that people that if you are smiling, it look, makes it look like you're crying, and then so people start laughing, and then it looks like you're crying. It's pretty funny. I wouldn't use it, but it is. Pretty Why funny. is it funny? Because it just they're like they're laughing, but you know sometimes it's hard to tell when people are laughing or crying. Well, I'm. We're gonna have a lot less cherries in here, because the cherry eater from from Washington is eating a well, the cherries. Well, you know, that's her childhood. Okay, I'm gonna leave these alone. So, what do we got going on? Okay, next week, yeah, we're gonna do Amy Bash for her birthday. Woo! Uh, <laughs> Bash, Amy? No, just an Amy what? Bash. If you have uh, ideas, I don't like it. Uh, that you would like, what kind of cheese. tacos? She can only send cheese. things in that are kind about Ooh. me. Cheese, more and more in cheese. cheese. Amy does love cheese. Basque cheesecake, what does it mean? I don't know what that means. I get not a lot of Basque sauce. I don't remember cheesecake. Yeah. Google it. Where do we have it? You Google it. Does anybody know about Basque cheesecake? Where did we have it? I'm, really I'm doing really well at this right now. I'm impressed. I like it. Mm -hmm. Look, don't limit yourself to just the orange and lemon and apples. Put all kinds of fruit in there. Hey, hell, put a pineapple, some pineapple. Put some tomatoes in there. It's fruit. Gross. Uh, uh, Learned fast cheesecake. Okay, baby, I did it. Okay. There. I'm going to let, these are, I'm going to, I sort of let, but I'm going to pull these up because I think they're not super brown, but they're supposed to get like. I got to wash my hands. Send that to Doug. They're supposed to get like that. Anyways, nothing takes as long, everything takes longer than it says because it's been about 30 minutes and these are not quite done yet. Even though I have them on higher than, or lower than, or medium heat. So just, again, keep that in mind as you're moving forward with this. Plus, you didn't see us last week, so we're going a little bit long today. How about that? That's what, that's the reason. I'm just, I'm, I'm, how about them apples? What is happening? These are getting close to being done. Thanks, Leno. Appreciate that. What did you just send me? Basque cheesecake. Oh, okay. I have a bunch of different. I thought that's what you were gonna. I, I thought you were making. Are gross. I thought you were gonna make them. Uh, well, that was the plan, except for you couldn't find apérol spritz because it's gross and they don't suck it. Of course, I looked at two places, so I didn't really look that hard. I was like, I don't know. I, I have something. Oh, so I have something gross. here. No. Negroni? I, I have, like I have yeah, a stuff for a Negroni, but I don't. We hated them, so. Oh, yeah. Take out the gin and put in bourbon. No. Nope. It's called a Bulbadier. Bulbadier. That sounds like a Harry Potter novel. Remember the show Mr. Belvedere? Yeah. <laughs> I do. What was his first name? Mr. Eddie. No. Marcus. Eddie Belvedere? Michael. <laughs> Jonathan. Joshua. Leslie. Leslie? Yeah. That's a gross name. That's what I'm sure. <laughs> I'm sure. Says that, the feminist. <laughs> Just kidding. I was kidding. You have hair? Did you oh, try this with the cherries? I in have it? like a cat hair on my nose. Yeah. Did I get it? No, I didn't. Look pretty good. Barbara, do you think? <laughs> yeah. Are you? Oh wait, wait. Was it Barbara? No, it's Leslie, not Barbara Belvedere. That is that is it's Leslie. I'm almost Google, 100 percent British sure. guy. Yeah, he was British. Oh, that's mm. why your name's Leslie. That's why I thought it was so hilarious on the Rick and Morty show where the uh, parasites come in and they had a butler. He was like, basically looked just like Mr. Belvedere did. Am I correct? That's a trivia knowledge thing. Barbara. Fresh, crunchy fruit and wine. Yum. God. Lynn. Lynn. Ah. Lynn Belvedere. Lynn. Yeah, I knew it was an L name. I thought it was Leslie because I knew it was that. But yes, Lynn. He was in the war. <laughs> All right. I'm turning this off. And now. Not Leslie. Lynn. 
Slotted spoon. Slotted spoon. Does it. All right. Look at those. I don't think they're done enough. They're golden brown and delicious. That's what they're supposed to be. Crispy. You've never you've never made these, so you wouldn't. Neither have you. I know, but I know what the recipe says. Ugh. We're following the recipe now. You should see the horrified looks on everybody's face in here. <laughs> you know what next year is, Amy? D twenty four. Uh huh. That's your thirtieth. I don't care. I don't go to those things. I, I think it's know. I know the people. No. Also, our twenty fifth anniversary, twenty fifth reunion from graduating from college. I was. What was I looking at the other day? Oh, I was looking because a school wanted a home ec teacher in middle school, and I was like, I can freaking teach home ec. What do you got to teach? Waffles and shakes, right? And a little bit of financial literacy. I can do it. And then I was looking at their staff, and I was like, I recognize that. And it it's it's Joy Pidlipchak that I went to high school with. That's a mouthful. Yeah, they called her do Joy Pig's Lips Are Chat. <laughs> I gotta tell you, people. Children, well, it's high school. People are children, assholes. children are the worst. You've been mean. Yeah. People have been mean all along, forever. Like and seriously, now her last name is like Smith or something. We just never Joel, called it something so, very ordinary. That's not. That's not cool. I'm just gonna say it. No, it Ooh, isn't crispy. Anymore. Yeah, it is. Oh my god! This. Meh. That, oh my god, I gotta taste one. They're gonna be so good. Anywho, she looked like she was doing well, is what I'm saying. Oh my god. Stop trying to prove how crispy those are. You know what the best part about this is? The olive oil is really good. The flavor comes through really well. No. So you should have used a higher quality? Or what you used was good? No, what I used is good. So. And then, um, so now we're gonna pour this over the top of it. So now they're gonna get smooshy? Wait, don't. Oh, I'm going to do it. Now. Only do it to a few because we're not ready to eat yet. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Unless you're going to make these again, I see more potatoes. We do, but we're not. <laughs> <laughs> like when we smoked a ham. <laughs> Leader, <laughs> the Leader decided that smoking a ham at started at 9 p.m. basically. It's going to be fine. That only takes an hour. And then mid 2 a.m. later, we're done. I'm waiting for the ham to be done. <laughs> It'll be fine. I like my midnight ham. <laughs> it's almost as good as midnight sandwich. Yeah, oh Should you put those in a bowl so you could smush them around? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Another dish. It's fine. Honey, you are way over your time allotment. You better hurry no, your we shit didn't, up. We did not have a show last week, so we're making up for lost time. No. Okay. I don't know why I got the peacock played out, too. I brought it home from work. You're a high school. $5,000! The moment. Should have hurried your shit up. Okay. We're going to pour this brava sauce over it. Top of the dollop. I thought that was the brava sauce. It is. Now I'm topping with a, a dollop. God. Of Daisy? No. Where are you going? I got to get... Now he's all stressed. Oh, aioli. What is that? Oh, aioli. the aioli. That's down on the spice. <laughs> Do you want a fork? Or you're just gonna eat one with fingers. I mean, you tell me. <laughs> I'll, get you, I'll get you a fork so you don't burn yourself. I don't like the face. I ate it with my fingers. What do you think? Uh oh. It's taking too long to answer, everyone. One. I like it. Not a ringing endorsement for our trip to Barcelona. I'm not sure Amy's like it. wrong. Barcelona. I like it. I like it. 
Yeah. It's good. The aioli adds a bunch to it, but the sausage is all. Yeah, I'm going to have one without it. Hold on. Mm. That's good. But the but aioli adds like, like a whole mix to it. Mm -hmm. That's really good. Holy shit. That, yeah, that's, that's really good. That's really good. So. Yeah. Excellent. I think part of the key of this is patience. <laughs> so that's why we're not good at it. We did it. We just didn't have enough filler. So there's some passive time, yeah? Yeah. You just set it, set it up. Set it up. Fry them on medium. I think you're still going to get where you want to be. But the nice part about it is like the texture is, it's kind of when you make homemade fries, right? So when you make homemade like fries, you, I do it. We did this before, right? So we double fried them. And we did it like 220 to kind of cook the insides. And then we bumped the heat up to 375 and crisp the outside. This, we just started with semi-hot oil that was like probably, I bet you it was maybe 250 degrees. And just let it fry in the 250 degree oil. It didn't absorb the oil, I don't think. The flavor of the... the really, so, like, I, the technique is sad. And I think it's just the time you need to make sure that, you know, you will lot. But you time. could have made the aioli ahead of time. Oh, way, way ahead of time. You could have made the sauce ahead of time so. and just warmed it. Well, I don't even I don't even know if you needed to warm it because I think going over the top of it is really what makes it like... You say you could put them in a wok? Yeah. You totally could. That's the other Fry thing. Fry the potatoes. Man, I really need Add, to get a good wok. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> she's she's still super hot. Susanna Hoff of the of the has of, aged beautifully. Right. Who? Susanna Hoff of the Bengals. Uh, the Bengals. I see pictures of her. Wait, am I on the TikTok? Yeah, she is. From what? No, that's probably cherry juice. Oh yeah, it was. I'm glad that came out that way. All right. That's blood. So, yeah. Next week, uh, my own blood. We're who am I looking at? Susanna Haas. Oh, she's got pretty size. She's really just aged beautifully. In the in the walk like the Egyptian video, she's the one who does the the whistle. Yeah, she does the eye movement. Yeah, and she's like she plays she plays the guitar. She she's plays the guitar. Yeah. So oh, I just spit some potato. Oh, she is really pretty. I really just split. Uh, that's a lot of her. teeth. Oh, and that's 2013. What does she look like now? She looks pretty much the same as she did then. All right. Well, Amy lifts up Susanna Hoffs. We're going to end the show. She is lovely. So, you should. Uh, I like this palace. We're going to make more of this. Again, we're just going to cheese and go. And I want to make something with muscles, I think. No. Right. Not for her birthday. No, thank you. Not for Amy's birthday. I don't know what we're going to make for that. You will. You and I will discuss Whatever it. I want. It has to be a side dish, an appetizer, an aperitif, a dessert. It will be whatever I want. Uh-oh. Think more slain. Oh. So, thank you for stopping by. I hope you guys had a good time. Yes. We love you. Remember to um, like and subscribe. Please like this video. I would really like if you really like this video. That would be awesome. Um, if you're not subscribed, please do so. We're one person away from 150 subscriptions. What? So, uh, you, I, I don't know how to do this correctly, but I know people are like, we should have it. We should put a thing to get to 200, but let's get to 150. And then if we hit 200 or 150 by next week, um, I'll wear a funny hat. How about what? that? That's not funny. next week for her, for Amy's a birthday hat. Yeah. Funny hat. It'll be a big one. Like, uh, Turd Ferguson. It's a, it's a big hat. <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> we love you. Thank you for stopping by. Sorry we missed last week. Hopefully you watched just three runs of the, of the show over and over and over again and told all your friends. But until next week, uh, uh, I, from Amy and I and Denise and Andrew and Lena, we love you. Uh, and remember to be kind and to be loyal. Do something nice for somebody next week. We love you so much and we'll see you then.